And one of the most watched, watched cases of races rather in our area is for the 10th congressional district seat race. That's between incumbent Republican Congressman Scott Perry and Democrat State Auditor General Eugene DePasquale. Now this is the district that covers Dauphin County and then the eastern half of Cumberland County and also a portion of York County. Perry is looking for a fifth term in Congress in this one. De Pasquale is a two term auditor general. Here is a look at the early numbers so far in this race. With 32% of precincts reporting, we have Eugene De Pasquale at 51% and Scott Perry at 49%. Now, the issue with this race is we may not know the winner for some time because Cumberland County is not going to start counting those mail in ballots until tomorrow morning. Fox 43's Harry Lee has been following the candidates today. She joins us now to explain why voters and political experts across the country are watching this race so closely. Well, all eyes are on the 10th district tonight. It's a competition between Republican Scott Perry and Democrat Eugene T. Pasquale. They are locked in a tight race, and some say it's seen as a bellwether for how the national election may play out. The 10th district race is in many ways a microcosm of the national election, pitting a moderate Democrat against an established conservative. It also resembles the country with urban, suburban and rural areas, especially since redistricting in 2018. You have these rural areas around York County uh, where Perry should do very well, uh, but then you have um, developing areas that are moving in a more liberal direction and the district as a whole has become more competitive. So competitive, in fact, that Real Clear Politics describes the race as a toss up. Vying for the seat are Republican incumbent Scott Perry and Democrat Eugene De Pasquale. Perry has represented the district since 2013. He's drawn attention for his membership in the Freedom Caucus, a group of the most conservative House Republicans that have at times voted against Republican leadership. He's also known for voting in line with President Trump's position 90.4% of the time. Perry says his priorities are the same as voters. Obviously, uh, the pandemic, they're concerned about their economic interests and they're concerned about their security, watching riding in Philly and, uh, and even close uh, in Lancaster. De Pasquale has been state auditor general since 2013. He's endorsed the Blue Dog Coalition, a group of centrist House Democrats. He's hoping to attract moderate and independent voters by agreeing with some of President Trump's policies, but also taking more liberal stances on others. We all know that we've got to get this economy back up and moving. We still have to work together to get a vaccine. Both men spend Election Day out greeting voters and celebrating the democratic process. This is how we uh, in a civilized society register our voice. This is how we settle our differences and settle our arguments. I believe I'm going to win, um, but regardless of what happens, I want everyone to vote. And usually both parties would be having election night parties tonight to have supporters gather and watch the results as they come in. But because of COVID-19, those gatherings have been canceled this year. Now, as Jackie mentioned, as of a few minutes ago, Dee Pasquale was in the lead, but a majority of precincts have not yet reported. Also, we probably won't know the results for a few days as Cumberland County, which is uh, which part of the 10th district is in, won't even start counting their mail-in ballots until tomorrow. We'll, of course, have continuing coverage as the results come in. Live in York, Harry Lee. Fox 43 News.